Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC Guy. Today on the DCC Guy, I want to talk about how you can go about setting up the USB interface for your uh, NCE PowerCab so that you can use it with Decoder Pro or any other computer program that you might have on your computer. So, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the reason that I decided to do this particular video is because over the last couple of three weeks, I had a series of email interchanges with a fellow, a, a one of our viewers, who was trying to get his uh, USB interface uh, for the power cap to work properly. And, you know, he went through fits with it, and finally, um, I think he gave up in frustration. And I tried to help him along the way. But, you know, there can be some frustrating things about setting up devices like this, uh, particularly in Windows machines, and it can, it's, it can seem quite daunting, and particularly if you overthink it, because, you know, there is a lot of technical stuff involved in this, but if you follow the important part in the manual, which is right here on the last page, which is the quick start setup, if you follow that, you'll find that it, it reduces it quite a bit. And one of the problems with the manual and everything is um, there are page after page of technical mumbo jumbo here. Uh, you know, the, the basic code, I think, on how the darn thing works. And it says right here on this one page, beyond this point is technical stuff you probably don't need to read. So from page four on, forget it. There's nothing there for you. It'll only confuse you. The most, most important part is, like I said, right here, the USB quick start setup routine. And if you follow that, it'll get you through the process much faster than if you get bogged down on what's in between uh, these pages. And also, notice right here, there is a good diagram on how to set this thing up. Okay? It's fairly straightforward. But, you know, people get confused over that. I got question after question on how do I set it up? How do I wire it? What do I connect to what? So let's go through the whole process today and in the subsequent video, and we'll see how this all works. So what I'm going to do today, though, is I'm going to show you how to set up the USB board, how to connect it to your power cab system, and then on uh, Monday, I'll have another video, a second video in this series, that will uh, where we'll move to the Windows computer and I'll show you how to install the drivers for it, how to get everything hooked up, and then how to set up uh, the PowerCab interface in Decoder Pro so that you can start programming your decoders uh, with your De Decoder Pro system. So, let me go ahead. I want to focus down here on what's on the bench so you can see a lot better uh, what I'm talking about. Now YouTube tells me that if you're watching this video, there's a greater than 60% chance that you haven't subscribed to the DCC Guy channel. So take a few seconds, click on the subscribe button, and then click on this bell right next to it. When that comes up, select all, and then you'll receive a notification every time that I upload a new video to YouTube. Thanks a lot now. Enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the power cab. USB interface setup. Okay, so this is the copy of the manual that came with the USB interface that uh, I got. And uh, it's several years old now, and let me point out, they have what is available online and called uh, a corrected version. So you'll see that there. So you can go to the uh, go to the PowerCab or the NCE website and look up manuals and uh, find the one for the uh, USB interface. And uh, go ahead and download this newer version of the manual if yours is one of the older ones. And I'll show you how you can tell right off in just a second. Now the thing about this manual is it's 11 pages long. And there's a lot in here that is superfluous. You don't even need to look at it. And matter of fact, if you go to page four in this one, and I think it's the same in, in others, um, it says right here on page four, beyond this point is technical stuff you probably don't need to read. And let me reiterate that. From this point, it will only confuse you. Okay? Don't even bother looking at it. What you want 
is the material in here on how to set it up on pages two and three, okay? And um, this, particularly this table. And this table is the old version. This is the new version of the table. So as you can see, there is a lot more information provided now on how to set this device up. So that's why it's important to go ahead and download the new version if you have this older version, okay? Also, let me point out, right here on the back, top of the, of the last page, is a uh, USB power cab quick start setup, okay? It takes you through the process of setting this up, how to do it step by step. So follow this and, you know, it should work for you. Also, a diagram of how to set this device up, okay? And, and how to wire it into your computer, how to connect it to your power cab. If everybody read this section here and looked at this diagram, I wouldn't have to do this video. However, as one DCC company owner once told me, real men don't read instructions. And that's why you have to have technical support people. So let's go ahead and I'll take you through the process. Okay, so the most important thing in getting this set up, and let me zoom in a little bit here, is to know that you're probably dealing with a power cab with software version 1.65. And that's pretty straightforward to know because it probably says it on the original uh, instructions that came with your power cab. And also, when you power up the power cab, on the display, on the uh, face of it, it will tell you, you know, version 1.65. So right off, you know what you're dealing with. Okay, down in this section right here, uh, you will see it says power cab or twin cab version 1.65. And then it tells you the setup for the various jumpers. Now, they don't say right here in the table though what the what uh, jumper one should be. That's explained um, right here on the old one at least on the top of this page. And I'll show you that. You can you have two choices, a baud rate of 9600 or a baud rate of 19200, okay? In this case, as the instructions show, you should set it for 19200 for use with the power cap which means that jumper one should be on. So let me show you how these jumpers work, okay? Now, if you look at this, uh, right here on the device, we have four black rectangles. These are jumpers, okay? Now, the way that you set these up is, these are removable, and there's two pins here. If this little device is installed on top of those with both pins covered, it's on. Okay, so that is on. This one here, you can see one of the pins here is not covered. Okay, that is off. So right now, I have it set with jumper one to be on. Okay, and that means a baud rate of 19,200. Now, if you then look here on the table, it says for the power cab, jumpers two is off, three is on, and four is on. So all you have to do then is put this jumper on so it covers both pins, put this jumper on so one pin right here, as I can show you, is uncovered, and then we have two pins. Let me go in real close so you can see this for sure, okay? So, pin one, or jumper one, both pins are covered. Jumper two, one pin is exposed, that's off. Jumpers three and four, both pins are covered, those two are on. So, it's set up the way that the manual says, on, off, on, on. That's all you have to do to set the darn thing up. It's that easy and straightforward. Now. Let me zoom back out. At that point, the device is ready. Okay, you can now make your connections. So, how do you connect it to the power cap? Well, if you look here, on the front panel of the power cap, uh, power panel, whatever, um, we have 
this two, these two connector slots, okay, or ports. The port on the left, as you face it, has to be for the command station. So I'm going to plug that in, and the command station is the NCE power cab itself, okay? The command station is internal, it's built in to the handset. And it always has to be plugged in in order for it to operate. Now, so that one's in the left. You probably got one of these little coiled cables with your uh, system. It has a four pin connector there. That simply plugs in here, okay? At that point, the USB interface is connected to your system. All you then have to do is plug the uh, other end of that coiled cable into this black connector port on the other end, on one end, of the USB interface. And at that point, it is connected to the power cap. Now, what about connecting it uh, up to your uh, computer? Well, that requires one of these um, uh, USB printer cables. Okay, and these are pretty standard. You can get them in most electronic supply houses. Uh, NCE sells them, I'm sure. Um, they are, you know, readily available, fairly inexpensive. All you have to do is plug in this end here into that port on the other end of your USB interface. This particular end of the cable then gets plugged into one of the USB ports on your computer. That's all there is to it, okay? So at this point, we have the USB interface connected to the power cab, and that you could plug it in, and at that point, you'd be ready to plug it in and hook it up to your computer. And for that, I'm gonna wait until uh, the next video in this series, where I will show you how to go ahead and install the drivers, and uh, make the final connections to the computer, and then we will uh, set up Decoder Pro so that it works with your power cap. In the meantime, I suggest that you read the instructions here on the back uh, for the quick start, download the, uh, go to the uh, NCE website and download the drivers there. Uh, there's a link right on the main page, ncedcc.com, go directly to that page, and right there in the middle of the page, it says USB drivers. So click on that, and it will take you to the Scilabs website where you can download the appropriate drivers for your Windows computer. And then when they come down, put them on your desktop, and on Monday, I'll show you how we go about uh, installing those drivers. And I do recommend that you install the drivers yourself. Don't let Windows do it, uh, because I tried letting Windows do it, and uh, it didn't work. And I had to end up downloading the drivers and installing them over top of the, uh, the uh, installation that did not work. So you might as well save the step and go ahead and install the correct drivers up front. Um, that's all for now. So have a good weekend, and we'll see you on Monday with part two of the video on how to get this installed on your Windows computer and working with Decoder Pro. Well, I hope that answers some of the questions that uh, you might have uh, come up with on how to use this uh, USB interface. So in the next episode uh, in this uh, two-part video series, we'll take a look at how you set it up on the Windows computer, uh, installing the drivers and getting everything set up in Decoder Pro so that you can go ahead and start programming uh, right away with your NCE Power Cab and Decoder Pro. So. Come on back uh, on Monday for part two of the video. Bye now.